When you're given a problem that involves the multiplication and division of integers, remember that multiplication, this dot right here is multiplication, so is this one, and division are inverse operations. So to follow the correct order of operations, we solve what comes first. That means what comes the most to the left. I suggest working on numbers in pairs. It might help you keep track. So negative 3 times negative 2. A negative times a negative is a positive, and this is positive 6. Now, before you go any further, rewrite the whole equation. Without rewriting it, you might be tempted to do negative 1 divided by 2 before you multiply the next pair. So 6 times negative 1, a positive number, times a negative is a negative 6. Now we have our last step. Negative 6 divided by positive 2, a negative divided by a positive is a negative, so it's negative 3. Now, let's go over what I just did and how I kept track of it. Um, one interesting way to think about all the rules of multiplication and division is to draw a little square. Let me fix that. One of my students came up with this idea. It helps you really keep track of what you're working on. So this square contains four little squares. It's like a window pane. And this is for multiplication and division. So let's write down the dot for multiplication, or an x if you prefer, and the division sign. Now, what this student realized was that when you have two numbers, you can, uh, the first number will be positive or negative, and the second number will be positive or negative. Now think about your multiplication tables. This little square works the same way, except it works for multiplication or division. And that's the first key point. I'll put a little star up here. M for multiplication. M and D for division have the same rules. That might help us. So this is a chart for both. A positive times or divided by another positive is a positive. A positive multiplied or divided by another negative is negative. A negative multiplied or divided by a positive is negative. And a negative multiplied or divided by another negative is positive. So, if nothing else, you could have this little device to help you remember. Look, there are two positives and two negative symbols. And the symbol should look, and the boxes should look like this. You could always reference back to this table to figure out what your answer should be. Let's go back to my first step, negative 3 times negative 2. How do I do this? Well, when you're multiplying or dividing, I first advised you to pair the numbers up. What I didn't say was what I do next. Before I think about if this number is positive or negative, I recognize that when you're multiplying or dividing, you don't have to think about positive or negative until after you performed the operation. So I don't need to think, is this going to be a positive or negative number? The first thing I just think about, I pretend both numbers are positive. Since I don't see negative 3 and negative 2, I see positive 3 and positive 2. I just multiply them. 3 times 2 is 6. Then I think, is this positive or negative? And that's where this table comes in. Well, a negative multiplied or divided by another negative gives us a positive. So as we wrote here, 6 should be positive. And we can keep going through this. We can use our table and figure out what happens. Our next step was 6 times negative 1. Before I think about it as positive or negative, I pretend they're both positive and just multiply 6 by 1 and get 6. Then I figure out, is this going to be negative? Our first number is positive. Our second number is negative. Let's go to our chart. Positive multiplied divided by a negative is a negative. So this value is negative. Same thing for the last step. We have a negative number divided by a positive. Before I even think about if the result will be positive or negative, I just do 6 divided by 2. I know that's 3. I know this will be negative because first number negative, second number positive. Look at our chart negative multiplied or divided by a positive is negative. So the answer should be negative 3, which we got. Another thing to think about, maybe a way of simplifying this for you, is to remember this. If the two signs match and you're multiplying, whether it's a positive and a positive, or a negative and a negative, then the result is positive. If the two signs don't match, po negative and positive, or positive and negative, the result should be negative. So if the signs match, then the result is positive. If the signs don't match, then it's negative. 
So a positive and uh, multiplied or divided by a positive and a negative multiplied or divided by a negative equals a positive. If the signs don't match, if it's a positive minus, um, multiplied or divided by a negative or a negative multiplied or divided by a negative, we get a negative. Negative multiplied or divided by a positive, sorry, we get a negative. Thank you. That's all.